with my grace and all my heart is yours oh spirit move breathe you in I'm leading to That when we are dealing with our wives, we must deal with them in knowledge. First Peter 3 7. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge. When if, if, if a man is not switched up here, he can't run a marriage. Now I'm talking to gentlemen. Women, I'm coming. Hey. Okay, let me first begin with the brothers. One of the most fundamental things that every man needs, core value, Akiri Awera. Is your brain enough to run a marriage? Do you know how to solve the circumstances and situations that will appear in your house when you are in such circumstances where you're tried and tested? Do you have enough mental acuity to deal with a woman's brain? Because these women's brains run at 360 kilometers per hour. You can be here when your wife is in Entebbe, Masaka, Mawundwe, Mitiana, at the same time. I don't know how God made them. They can think and act at the same time. For us, you have only one thought. If it is football, it is football. You can't think too. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And sometimes you learn that it's in wisdom that you learn to do things. I'll give you an example. There was a story of a man whose wife was going to leave him. She was tired of poverty tired of poverty tired of poverty said I'm going to leave this man she told him I'm packing anytime soon you know what this man went did he went to a realtor these real estate companies and then got brokers of houses you know those brokers of very nice houses they are selling apartments and what you know these real estate agents and what so he got these brokers four five six of them and came put on put them on the table and kept quiet so, this woman is cleaning, she sees what? Houses, and then she just continues, what? Cleaning. The next day, she didn't go. And the man is saying nothing. And then, again, the next day, she's one week. And after some time, she tells him, baby, what are these things? And he said, don't I put them there? When you've come down, you choose the house you want. Did the brother have money? No. He just sold hope. Hey, it kept her at home for six months. So I'm not saying lie to your wife. I'm only trying to, I'll just give an example. That sometimes, even when there is no money in the house, you can sell hope. My baby, don't worry. I have a plan for you. Sell hope. But you're with the man in the house. You tell him, so, uh, Jackson, what do we do? I'm going to go. What are we eating today? Tell her, take a come as Sell hope. Start walking, praying. God will do something. There is nothing that breaks a woman like telling her you don't know. Now if you're a husband and you don't know, how can you just be there and you're a man that you are? Come Ah. A man can't say, I don't know. If you don't have that particular point, tell her, give me time to think about it. Take time and do what? Think about it because these are helpers, they are wombs. Whatever they conceive, they can translate. But give us something to work with. Don't tell her, I don't know. I can't tell my wife, I don't know. No. Give me time, let me pray. Come on, you're not a child, you know. You're not changing. 
Never on a subiro colati. Okanokula Katondava Kota Kolangera Chikolati. Chivayo. But it begins core value. Some men are not wise enough to manage women. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Core values. So how are you going to run children? How are you going to manage her friends? How are you going to manage her extended family? How are you going to manage those other things that are complicated and, and you have to stand as a man? Because these days, unfortunately, some of our brothers are like women. They're the weaker ones. If somebody comes with a bullet, they hide in the woman. Woo! <laughs> If you're next to a man, tell him, brother, have some pride. <laughs> Core value, as a man, it takes maturity to love unconditionally. I'm talking about values. Because love, like I said, unconditional. Agape, which is the highest form of love, which is the love with which God loves us himself. It's the very love that he asks us husbands to love our wives with. Many people's love definitions are, are conditional. I love you because you. I love you because you do this. I love you because you do this. I love you because you do this. So if your partner falls short, of what you love them for, then the love decreases. As counseling a dear girl a few days ago, she told me, my fiance told me that uh, the relationship cannot work. And I asked her why. The dear man, the dear girl said, he said to me that uh, I have a lot of financial issues and he's not able to, to, to take that kind of burden in marriage. Eh eh? Have a I thought it is the responsibility of a man to look after his wife. We help me munyambe I thought it's the responsibility of a man to look after his wife. How can you tell me that you're not taking someone home because she's not financially stable? She? I thought finance was our responsibility. It's the responsibility of a man to run over his house, after his house. Look after it. Pay the rent. Do. Yeah, you might not have enough, but call in a kaway, You understand what I'm saying? But you're a man running over center when meza. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not yet ready. Not everyone is mature to what? To marry. There are sacrifices. Marriage is not about what you take. It's about what you give. Some of you take, but you don't give. I have counseled people who are in relationships of people who just don't give. They are takers. It's only on their side. They're selfish. It's what comes for them. Nothing counts for them to give the other side. Even when you put a list of what they can give, they've not given anything in the marriage. They're not willing to risk anything. But they're willing to take everything and then hold their, their, their spouse, you know, at ransom when they don't give them everything that they need. Marriage was designed for you to give, not to take. Are you following what I'm saying? If you're not mature enough to give, then don't expect to carry marriage, to live, sorry, married. Marriage is about sacrifices. Some of you know what your mothers did to stay for your sake. Yes, I know things are complicated. I know I can't do this. I can't change this. But for the sake of my children, let me sacrifice my life because I cannot imagine a life where this girl is going to grow without a father figure. Even though he has a problem, she would rather grow up with this retrograde mind. But let's keep him. Nafumba. Our generation, you can't even endure something simple. Three months in marriage, I'm leaving apostle. Mama, you understand what I'm saying? Because there's a place where you must, marriage is for the mature again. It takes a certain maturity to say, this is hard and complicated, but let me stick in because it is worth everything. Marriage is not about the two of you. 
It's about many people who have extended beyond you, your families, your friends, your, the people who believed in you. Oh no. Leave alone this selfish attitude that has come in a generation where everything is I, I, iPhone, iMac, iBook, I is my, my, me, me. No offense if you're an iPhone owner. Are you following what I'm saying? Marriage is about what you're giving. And if you're not mature enough to give and be consistent and deliberate about giving, you are not yet mature enough to leave marriage. As a man, there are things you will give. There are things you will give. Core values. 